Good to cover battle, buddy. Um, is he in the call anymore? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. My name is Coltair, and I would like to welcome you to this block of instructions. Today, we're going to go over the one of the three basic attributes you're going to need to be part of an effective fire team. Let's hop into it. So, what you might be wondering right now is, what are the three basic attributes that you need to learn? Well, it's easy. It's shoot, move, communicate. Today, we're going to be talking about the shoot part of the shoot, move, and communicate. The very basic thing that we're going to, we are going to talk about is going to be your setup. So if you're, say, a team leader or a squad leader, I would recommend using the C7 or the LKN Spectre is what it's called, uh, the ACOG optic, or something that gives you magnification. I think there's also an 8 times power scope on the SCAR. And so that you can see further onto the battlefield and you can lead your team. Um, I'm going to put a screenshot up now of a, a view from an ACOG versus a Neotech um, looking into the village. Um, if you're a grunt or say you're just like a warfighter on the ground, your job is to take commands and just kill the enemy, I would recommend the MRO or the EOTech. And you may be asking yourself why, and in my personal opinion from in-game and real life experiences, the circle of death is better in CQC. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up a picture of an EOTech or I'll put one up right here. of an EOTech versus an uh, MRO versus a Red Dot versus an ACOG. And you can see what the difference is. And in CQC situations, all you have to do is take that circle of death and put it on the enemy and let them have it. A lot of people make the same argument about the Red Dot, but you have to put that single dot on the enemy. If you put that circle, that donut on the enemy, or on your target and you fire you're gonna hit as long as your weapon is zeroed which in this game you don't have to worry about zeroing um, and I think that leads us into our next point is what weapon will I use um, that's a pretty common question I see more than you know how to set it up and my advice is learn what your job is within that group you know if you're playing with four friends but none of you has any tactical or knowledge one whatever you feel comfortable with you know um, the guys that I run with most of them run the G36 to them uh, I've never used it but to them they say it's a laser beam it's got no recoil uh, and I don't think it's too expensive um, in PvP I use the AK-74U the CQC weapon I mean the um, the SMG weapon simply because it's got a fast rate of fire and in those, you know, tight hallways and close little alleyways on PvP, it's really not, you don't need anything else in my opinion. Um, another one that I use very commonly for when I'm doing operations with my clan is the Mark 18. Um, I don't know if it holds any real advantages over the M4 or the M16 next to a higher rate of fire, but uh, it looks pretty badass and I use it for that way. Um, another thing, like if you're German group, some of those guys use G36. If you're like in a, a Russian group, a lot of those guys use the AK-47. So a lot of that depends on your SOP and who you're playing with. Um, and another thing that it depends on, which is another part of what we're going to talk about, is the basic four-man fire team. If you know what I'm talking about, great, you know. But if you don't, I'll put a picture up here. Um, and the picture that I'm going to put up is going to be a four-man fire team wedge. Uh, the reason the picture shows two teams is because it's showing um, the two different configurations with your saw gunner on your left or right side, depending on what the team leader wants to do. And uh, a lot of times, this is what my group does when we're moving... Um, on foot or through a city, we'll use a fire team wedge or a 
or a fire team wedge or a, a fire team in a column um, configuration. And you may be wondering, like, what's the advantages of a fire team? Well, a four-man fire team in real life has your team leader, your saw gunner, your grenadier, and your rifleman. Um, in the terms of Blackhawk, we usually have a team leader, uh, a saw, and two riflemen. Um, and if you don't know what a saw is, that's your squad automatic weapon. I don't think there's technically any actual uh, saws in Blackhawk, um, but a, a one that you may recognize outside of it is the M60, um, and I'm gonna, I'll put a picture of it up used by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando, Rambo, I don't forgot his name there for a second, uh, in those movies. And the purpose of the saw uh, is to lay down very heavy, uh, high volume of fire at the enemy to keep their heads down. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you essentially using just a two-man team um, what the video or what a saw gunner would be doing and what their job is. All right, so let's see. All right, um, I'm here with my friend Boss Fighter. He just passed our training and tryouts today. Um, and while we were doing it, asked if anybody had a 100-round drum, and he's got it. So what we're going to demonstrate uh, here in a few minutes um, once it's daytime is how a saw gunner does their job. So what he's going to do, who's pointing their M4 at me? Yes. Oh, uh, stupid agent. Stop. So what he's going to do is he's going to, I'm going to say, like, lay down suppressing fire or, hey, I need to move up, something of that nature. And what he's going to do is he's going to simulate, like, there's targets down there, and he's going to lay down suppressing fire with his, quote, saw, uh, which in this case is an M4 with a drum mag, and we're going to show you guys how that would work, right? Oh, so give us one more second while it's daytime, and then we're going to show you how to do it. And uh, also, we're part of a group called the 76 Rangers. Um, that's who we're all part of. So, all right. So come here for a second, and we're going to do a simulated... Um, take cover here, right here, right, and then Asian, if you're in the call, yeah, yeah, so you're going to take cover right there, right, and what you're going to say is, um, what I want you to say is like, lay down suppressing fire, right, mm -hmm. and then he's going to start shooting in that direction, and he's going to quote, lay down suppressing fire at the enemy, at the, where the enemy is, and we're going to move up to the next cover without running in front of them. So you think we got it? Yeah. All right, go ahead and do it. All right, I'm moving up. And then from here, when one of our guys says set, they can... Why is this not working? There we go. So when you say set, and the other guy says, I'm going to move up, what you'll do is you'll start doing the same thing in a much more controlled manner since you don't have 100 <laughs> rounds. And then that's how you guys will move up, and that's the job of the saw gunner, right? Um, and that's not any different in Blackhawk. In your fire team, you should have one guy that has a 100 round drum, and I'm gonna put a picture of an M4 with a 100 round drum up here, that lays down covering fire while your other teams move up and eliminate targets, clear buildings, or wait, aid the wounded. Um, as for shooting, if you're not a saw, the basic idea is to put accurate rounds on target as fast as possible, and that comes with practice. Uh, make you're not shooting while your teammates are in front of you uh, or in your sector of fire. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And when he says, I got you covered, you're going to run to the next cover. 
but you're going to run in front of him. And stupid is going to demonstrate how you either have to stop firing or you have to shoot in a different direction so that you don't hit your battle buddy. Whenever you All right, I got my line. Go, go. I, got, I got my line ready. Just tell me when you. All right. Whenever y'all are ready, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm recording now. So I say, got you covered, right? Yeah. Or uh, I'll cover you while I move. Got you covered. Something like that. I'll go out of the way. So I in your shop. Good job. Good job. Uh, in this clip, I'm going to show a video of me laying covering fire, and then when I'm out, I'm going to call a reload and how your teammate would respond. Alright. Alright. So just do it in voice chat. Alright. Alright. Alright, tell All right. me when you're recording. Uh, yeah, uh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Alright. Need to move up! Yeah. Got you covered. Got you covered. I need to reload. Got you covered. Got you covered. All right, good job, guys. All right, good job. So, without teaching you guys CQC, um, which I'm going to be doing in the future, that is all we're going to talk about today. Remember, guys, have a good day, and remember to stay safe. I got nothing else for you. Last thing for you. Try to remember that not everyone has the same life experience as you do. What I mean by that, well, I mean that almost everybody you meet has different experiences as you do and can teach you something. Remember that as you go through school, work, life, whatever it may be. Everybody has a different experience than you do.